It's Sunday the 29th of January, so let's have a look at the Australian dollar, US dollar for the trading week ahead. Okay, there are a couple of things to go over in this market from today. We've had the very, very strong bullish rally off of these key levels that we were looking at just before Christmas. The bullish rally has broken the previous swing high. So let's mark in this swing high. So right here, as the markets came down, it's had a retrace, created a swing high, and then broken below. Now what we have seen is the market rally very strongly and break above the previous swing high. Coming into last week, end of last week, the market has pulled back into these levels. Now what we are potentially seeing is the market breaking through key levels, showing a pullback to retest, and then bullish price action further buying pressure will come into the market. So going into next week, I will be watching at these areas for potential bullish price action and looking for those buy signals to get into some long positions. A little confluence adding to this is that we have the moving average, the MA200 simple moving average. Um, this moving average, very often when you see the market reach it, you see reactions. So it can act as support or resistance. It's acting as support here. Right here, as the market's pulled back, it's acted as resistance and we have sold off from the level. Now we've broken up above, we've came back down, and what is sitting right here in these key levels, the MA200. We also have this little candle here, the 27th of January, which is potentially a continuation spike. Continuation spike, um, basically the candle tends to have a small body, we have a long tail or nose which is going into the previous day's price action and then we also tend to have a very small nose at the other end. So we've had a spike up into the previous day's price action, we have that small body. What a continuation spike suggests is that price action is going to attempt to revisit at least the high of the continuation spike. So those are the confluences, um, adding to what I'm looking at going into next week, looking for those bullish bounces. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, now even down below, we still have lots of levels of good support. So let's just mark some of these in once again. Right here at these levels, you can see the market reacting here, here. As the market spiked up, you can see it reacting at the levels. And then this whole section of price action, price has been spiking down into these levels and then being bought up once again. So if we did see a pullback into these levels, I would still be happy to look for those bullish bounces. Now up above, let's have a look at our levels of resistance. So for me, really, let's have a look. Well, the first thing is we're coming into a whole section of very, very choppy price action. So the last time the market was here, price has been spiking, pushing up, dropping away, pushing up, dropping away, chopping sideways. What this basically means for me is I'm not expecting the market just to rocket through very, very strongly. <clears throat> I will still expect sellers to step in at these levels, meaning that as a day trader, I will also be looking for those sell positions. Let's just mark in some of these support and resistance areas. Really, it's up into these levels. If we start to see this bullish price action, I would expect the market to um, come up and test. Now, whilst in these levels, as mentioned, I will also be looking for the resistance for potential sell positions. But those are the key things going into next week. Now, quickly, actually, one thing I want to go over. So, as traders, we are interpreting the market. We're looking at recent price action. We're looking at historical price action. We're looking at what the market has been doing um, interpreting the candlesticks 
as a way to see what price has been doing and then using all of that information to determine the likely next move of the market. It is analysis and it is reading the market and then looking for that likely next move. Now, as traders, we are never, <clears throat> excuse me, 100% accurate. Nobody is. Um, the best traders in the world, they are also incorrect at times. However, the well, first thing is I've been doing this for a number of years and there's multiple videos on the channel now of me doing market analysis and very often I am um, accurate in what I am looking at. However, you need to look for that evidence. Um, you don't just want to have blind analysis. So going into next week, I'll be looking at these levels. However, if the market starts to tell me that I'm incorrect, I'm willing to change the analysis very, very quickly. You have to be willing to be wrong. So one of the best ways to stay safe as a trader is to never put too much weight on your opinion. Um, you know, the market doesn't care what we think. The market only cares about what the market is doing. So you have to be willing to be wrong. You have to be willing to change very, very quickly. Um, you know, I got a message yesterday or the day before, very, very angry message um, off of some guy basically saying I was trying to claim that I could <laughs> predict what the market is going to do. Um, <laughs> that's not what I'm doing at all guys um, you know if you've watched any number of the videos rather than just jumping onto one video um, you can see what I'm basically doing is giving you my analysis of the market in these videos and then in other videos I'm just trying to show you what I'm looking at um, giving you an insight into what I do as a trader <laughs> I hope that guy finds some um, happiness anyway because he's a very very angry <laughs> sad man never understood commenting um, angry expletive messages to someone you've don't know or have never met, but there you go. But anyway, I'm just clearing that up. Uh, we are doing market analysis, guys. We're looking at the likely next moves of markets as traders going off of what the market has recently done, what it has done historically, and what it is telling us. Okay, I hope you all have a great trading week next week. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I'm James Orr, and thank you.